Deliberations regarding the ratification of the agreement began with the presentation of the Finance Committee's report, which recommended the approval of the agreement by majority decision. MP for Bogatanga East, Dr. Dominic Aine, indicated the minority's disapproval of the agreement on legal grounds. MP for Yapekuso, John Jinapo, questioned the financial propriety of the agreement. The question is, if President Akufuado, Ghana was your company and you were the board chairman, would you bring this document for us to approve? No. Would you bring this document for us to approve? You get $200 million per annum, and you insist that you want to take $500 million and cede $140 million per annum to a so-called SPV. Mr. Speaker, this is unfortunate. And like the learned former Deputy Attorney General said, this transaction is opaque. This transaction does not meet best practices. This transaction is inimical to this country. Minister for Information Kojo Oponkrumah justified the agreement ending his submission with the statement Papano in reference to his colleague John Jinapo. The transaction capitalizes Ghana's revenue from gold royalties while reducing Ghana's budgetary exposures to fluctuations in gold prices and other external factors. Because, Mr. Speaker, anybody who has paid attention to our fiscal tables and the proportions that accrue from royalties knows that it fluctuates depending on the world market pricing for gold and the volumes we are producing. This structure stabilizes how much we are able to raise and appropriate on an annual basis. And it is a structure that I think our colleagues should stop shouting, like the fantasy say, why shout, stop shouting, take their time, appreciate and support. I want to encourage my good friend who just spoke. In my hometown, we say Papano. 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 I want to encourage Papano to take some time and follow the structure of this transaction and to support it. I thank you, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity. This provoked a response from the minority leader, Haruna Idrisu. We take strong objection to it. If you don't withdraw, we will recognize you today as minister. We will refer to you as minister. We will not do what you do. From today, we will recognize you as minister of this republic. And we will not accord you any respect as minister. Let's close to the doors. What do you mean? What do you take us for? What do you take us for? What do you take us for? So, Papa, you accept that from today, on this side, we will not recognize you as a minister of state. The Minister for Information apologized for the comments, which were subsequently expunged from the records of the House. The minority, led by Deputy Leader James Aveji, staged a boycott of the proceedings. I cannot take 500 million, which is not budgeted for, which you do not even tell us in the report how you are going to utilize that money, and you want us to support you. We cannot do that. So, Mr. Speaker, as I said, and as has been said by my colleague, we in minority are not going to be part of this, and for that matter, we will not support it. Steelers! Steelers! The agreement was ratified pending the assent of the President on the Minerals Income Investment Fund. Mr. Speaker, I believe nothing untoward is happening and um, given the issues that have been raised, I would want to urge for us to approve of this, but just so that we shall err on the side of caution, we must provide this proviso that not until the president assents to the uh, Minerals Income Investment Fund Amendment Bill 2020, this agreement cannot, these agreements cannot be operationalized. The speaker, that is a proviso that we should give to the president. And I think we'll be home and dry on that. The House later agenda proceedings, Sinedai.